everyone in this video i'm going to show you my redbubble accounts and see what i'm about to so let's dive in and show you what's been happening in my redbubble account and i haven't touched the account for the last almost year and a half i think and just left it there so let's go dive in to explore i recently i've changed the name I made a kind of my own so check out me and my journey.com is my website i'm trying to have that into this and then we create a brand around it and so as you can see i got some new and old design how many do I have? 133 designs. Right. Recently, I have created a few more. These are the photographs I often take. I enjoy taking photographs, so um, I'm doing that photographic things. These ones I took at uh, a local park near where I live. Scarlet red, climbing roses. Again, what a stunning photo. These a lot. And a few days ago, went to Greenwich just for a walk. Greenwich is not that far from where I live, about four and a half miles, something like that. So yeah, occasionally I go there for a piece just to get the breeze, just walk around Greenwich Pier, nice place to walk. Mm. Uh, stunning photograph of sun setting. So we turned it into a, a little design here. I mean, they look really good on the sticker. As you can see, or in a mobile case, look at that. How nice it looks. Or if you buy some coasters or throw a pillow, really nice. Or even a, a coffee cup or mug, or even a spiral notebook, look, card book journal. Right, and let's have a look a few more. Now this one is, is really stunning. I mean, look at this. Look at the mouse pad. Mouse pad. Wow. I mean, the T-shape doesn't look that good. But if you're into flowers, then this is it. I mean, look at that chiffon top. Wow. Stickers again, look. Stickers, stickers, laptop sleeves. Look at that. Look at these stunning iPhone cases. Look at that stunning photo, man. If you have that kind of stuff, people they probably want to get a hold of it. I mean, this is something totally unusual. Look at this. And a print here, frame art print, look at it. And it's really, really nice. Look at this. Oh, pillow. Look at that pillow there. Wow. And look at this classic mug. Wow. I mean, if you wear one of these flat masks, you'll turn eyes when the cups and the notebook. Yeah, let's have a look a few more. It was really stunning. How about this one? Again, similar photograph. They they quite look good and on t-shirts again i mean 
totally unusual on cases, stickers, and throw pillow. Oh, beautiful, beautiful design. And all I've taken using the iPhone 10, I think. Yeah, my iPhone 10. How about this one? Jimmy Rose one. As you can see, stunning photo. Look at the stickers. And also the phone cases. Wow. Popular look. Grace. Really, really nice. Or oh, this one. Again. Ah, look at the phone cases again. Wow. And the print. And the classic mug. Coffee mug. And the tea. This, this is quite interesting. So if you look at this, sunset over, this is, uh, you can see the shard here, it's a shard there. And this side is Elephant and Castle in South London. And I'm looking at from Greenwich Pier here down there. Look at that. Wow, smart. And these photographs, I photograph them myself. Look. And also sell them, I also sell them in uh, Shutterstock. So I'll put a link. Most of them are very difficult to get proof in Shutterstock. The ones they do is stunning. I mean, look at this. Look at the phone cases. As if it's like a mirror. Now take a look at that sun, sun going down, and it's, it's, it's clear as a kind of reflection, unbelievable. And even these canvas print, wow. Even sometimes I get surprised. Yeah, look at this plastic mark. So if you're if you're doing uh, red bubbles or print on demand, you know, when you're going out, just look for the, look for some of this subject and take a photograph and then put it up, make your design out of it. Again, look, mouse mat, actually stunning. Look at these stickers. Wow. Transparent sticker here, laptop skin. And again, um, the um, phone cases or the fan. Look at them. And look at the way I took the photo. The barrier against the boat showing a bit there and the city at the background. And the cups and the mugs, look at that, wow, and, and the notebook. The question is, have I sold any yet? Not yet, I've just loaded them up recently. And the shingle here, they look even better. Design wise, I mean, look at the mouse mat and look at this stunning photo of this. Wow, I fancy giving one of somebody's present something like this. They'll be thinking, Wow, and and also this classic mug. 
they were just blown away. How did you get this design? Let me have a look at this one. Again, similar thing, similar shingles. Pebbles. Uh, let's have a look. Look at that. Oh, that's the stunning, the deep approach. That's really nice. Okay, um, let's have a look some. These are all my new designs I've loaded up within last week. Um, this is a stunning photo I took of soft cloud. Just I think uh, I was stationary somewhere and I took this out from a car. So I only made a sticker out of this. I thought the sticker will be great great thing so just a sticker on that one i think i should have put that into a coffee or coffee jar coffee coffee mugs or tea again shingles that looks stunning if you have a look You know that looks really nice in a free mart. Really, really nice when it comes to coasters. Really nice. Now let's quickly look at this. Now this this is near Croydon, Croydon Airport. I often go past through there to go to Gatwick Airport, so I often spend some time there. The war, uh, the war memorial there. So I took the photo early morning. And you can see it's stunning. Right, let me show one more, then we move on a bit. And again, that's the nature, same park. Yeah, the stickers are always nice. And lastly, let's do one more till we move on because I got so many design here. Look, go on and on. So these are some other designs for YouTubers, and you know, smash that like button, YouTubers, smash this, smash that. Yeah, so I'm going to show you one more. And where did it go? So many designs. Yeah, this one. Yeah, in fact, I took this photo. Uh, I used to grow a lot of um, sunflowers. And one day I noticed a bee yeah. collecting nectar. So that's why I took the photo. And it's stunning photo. Look at this. Mouse mat. Really nice, especially throw pillow and posters. And again, the cup cups. Wow. Right. So, seeing all the designs. Now let's go and nitty gritty a bit. Let's see. Yes, we got dashboard and how many we sold. Right, so here we go. Because I didn't even bother to load up 
for one and a half year or so. So this is what happens. The, these are the old ones. I only made twelve pound forty in commission, which is not bad. And these are some of the stuff I sold. Now these are commissions. Can you imagine four pound fifty five one item? The two sixty seven another item one ninety two pound one eighty and one forty one. Now. This one's a note one. So the commissions are hefty when you can sell the larger items rather than the small. Oh, where did he go? So I made 27, 27 sales. And these are the traffic coming in from various sources. So there we go. June made 20, 25 pence, July 2023 made 155, September 267, 141, and 652 December. And as you can see, all empty because I didn't bother to do anything. View the product, yeah, pull over her hoodie and view the product, classic t shirt, view the product, classic monk the product poster and a greeting card and this one is tall mug okay so here as you can see the traffic is slowly building up so i think i need to spend a bit more time because time is so limited to me i've got so many things going on all over the place so i'm neglecting it i know i can um, i know i can surely boost this easily as you can see here look now total sale i made 84 pound and 60 65 pence now, total manufacturing cost is when a red bubble fulfills the order, they put, they will print it, they will produce the stuff, and they will ship it, and you end up getting the commission for your design. So, out of eighty-four pound sixty-five pence, commission was twelve pound forty, which is great. You know, I've done nothing much but to load up some design. I can imagine if I keep on loading this design, hundreds and hundreds of them, and people start, one of your design becomes a success, and people buy time over and over and over and over and think about it. Let's have a look. Have I sold anything else? So now this is it. Right. Good one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give you a bit of. I hope this video has given you a bit of um, information. So if you're thinking of opening a red bubble up, you know, try it. Go for it. And hopefully you'll enjoy it. And it's something is a kind of a, a you could call a passive income, but you have to load your design, you have to promote it, and also if you don't, it's like any business. If you let it go, then surely the business dies slowly. But you have to feed the machine. So next time, I will show you how I load a design. Keep on watching or subscribe to the channel. And uh, click the like and subscribe button. Thank you very much indeed.